Hello guys, welcome back to Codelens, where we venture into the uncharted waters in matters software. If you are new to the channel, feel at home and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will be notified when I post a new video. Now let's get to the objective of today's episode. Now as you can see on the screen, our today's episode we are going to talk about key clock. Specifically let us demystify key clock. All right. So, number one, let's have a look at what's in store on this episode. So, as you can see, we are going to have a look at what is key clock. Why should you maybe even consider using key clock in in your uh, applications? What are some of the features of key clock? Then, eventually, we are going to see a demo or rather a walkthrough. And then, after that, then we get to the juicy parts where we are going to see how we should be able to extend or basically customize key clock so item number one so what is key clock basically a simple definition of key clock is basically an open source identity and access management for modern applications and services all right for me what uh two key terms that i would wish for you to grasp here is it's open source I mean, who doesn't love open source? And it's also an application that is tailored for modern applications and services, right? Down there, you can see the link where you can access uh, the website for Kicklock and also a GitHub repo where you can be able to see what the Kicklock team have so far accomplished. And uh, who knows if you have a PR that should like uh, for it to be integrated, maybe you have a feature that you you've introduced by all means go through the source code you'll be able to see much of what key clock has to offer all right so let's proceed now the next question that maybe we should ask ourselves is why should we even consider using key clock all right so in my opinion these are some of the reasons as to why we should consider using key clock number one it is open source like literally open source completely there are no licenses attached to it uh it is a mature and proven solution it is supports uh standard protocols but this in this case uh some of them are samil open ID connect and definitely auth 2.0 right so how about backed by red hat well for me i tend to think that as uh, one of the reasons as to why i would consider putting a key clock in my in my toolbox now for those who do not know red hat basically red hat is a company which produces open source solutions for the enterprise all right so key clock is one of those solutions which red hat has developed all right so the next question that we should ask ourselves is what are some of the characteristics or what are some of the benefits that we get when we use key clock all right so number one out of the box we get single sign-on so for those who do not know what single sign-on is basically with single sign-on you get to log in once to multiple applications okay if this doesn't make sense you will see when you maybe go to a demo and maybe when we start extending uh key clock so be sure to stick around to see that in more details the other item is it supports standard protocols all right so and as you mentioned earlier it supports open id connect of 2.0 and also samil also stick around for much more on this as we walk through the demo and also as we extend key clock right the other thing that we get is you'll be able to connect to existing user directories out of the box you can just imagine the power that you get with this so basically this can be summarized into one term where we can call it ldap and active directly right now how about scalability and availability definitely this is one aspect where as a developer you need to put into consideration the solution that you are building will it be able to scale how about its availability and for that key clock out of the box you will be able to get that and for this clustering comes into play right the other thing is imagine a scenario where you want to integrate our uh, social logins be it facebook twitter google etc etc 
right just by a click of a button actually in less than a minute you can be able to integrate all these providers just by a click of a button as i mentioned stick around you'll be able to see more of this in action all right out of the box you may see that the themes which are out of the box all right they may not be as appealing as you may want them to be especially for your product or the application that you're developing guess what kick lock got you covered you can be able to extend and basically to customize the look and feel of how you want your kick clock identity to look like now how cool is that the next one is you can be able to customize whatever is already given out of the box with kick lock so let's say you have uh, a certain flow inbuilt into kick lock you will hear me speaking about flows more and more as we continue into the series but for now take a flow as basically a series of steps which should be followed for a person to be considered an authenticated person so let's say a flow x requires that uh, you key in the username and the password for you to be uh, basically authenticated that's the usual flow that you normally see on a day-to-day -day activity for most of the applications now that is the out of the box feature that kicklock has but what if you want a scenario whereby say you want just to key in the username maybe even validate that that username exists maybe to some external repo or something like that now with kicklock you can be able to to achieve that basically literally anything which kicklock gives us you can be able to customize and give it the desired behavior without affecting the core thing which kicklock offers which is identity all right by following certain standards which should be adhered as far as security is concerned all right now the other item that i would like to us to have a look is you can be able to customize the password policies which you can be able to integrate directly into your key clock instance all right maybe you want each password to have let's say nine characters maybe five of them should be numbers the other ones should maybe have a special characters you etc etc basically the the structure or basically the regex expression for a particular password all right now out of the box you can be able to customize all this all right now so far you can see that the power by which we get just by using key clock all right now so far are you convinced that uh, key clock is something uh, you'd consider to use as a as a medium of authorizing users in your application please don't say nay don't break my heart the other one is if it is a yes now i tell you what stick around there are more goodies for you right so if i can mention two more features that at least i could think of that in my opinion i think kick clock is a go-to solution as far as identity is concerned is it offers you out of the box a powerful restful apis now out of the box you see that kick clock has an has a console where you can be able to manipulate uh, various uh, features which it gives you right be it adding users, validating uh, users, sending emails, etc., etc. Now you can achieve the same same things by using an out of the box RESTful APIs that they give you. Now stick around; you'll also be able to see more of this in action. Now, last but not least, Kicklock is very light. It is fast and scalable. All right. Now with those three attributes eh? we definitely have performance as in who wouldn't wish to have an application which is fast which is lightweight and it, at the same time it is it is scalable all right so that's just an overview of what key clock is and uh, as i had promised it is now time for demo all right so as far as the demo is concerned See you on the next episode where we'll be able to have a look at the ins and outs of Kicklock. After which, we should be able now to 
now go to the hands-on bit where we should be able to customize and extend key clock as we desire all right so see you on the next one goodbye